Once a pickup has been scheduled by your donor online, you can then log into your Thriftcart admin account to review it, send a confirmation email, edit the pickup if needed, or cancel it. To see your self-scheduled pickups, in your admin account on the left-hand menu, select Pickup Stop Scheduling, and then choose the sub-menu option, View Self-Scheduled Stops. Here, any of your new stops that have not yet been reviewed are displayed in yellow. Any stops that have been reviewed and you have marked as confirmed are shown in green, and any that have been flagged are shown in red. Note that regardless of the color, all of these pickups will be in your route, and so not missed by your truck or your drivers. Only if you cancel a stop will it not actually be included in the route, but even those yellow ones which have not yet been reviewed and the red stops which have been flagged will still be in your route unless canceled. The different colors are just for your own internal ability to easily see which stops might need to be further reviewed and which ones you've already looked at. So a new stop shown in yellow includes the day of the pickup, the truck, some donor contact information, a list of items being donated, and in the far right hand side there should be a link where you can view any uploaded images. If that link is not active in your account, please let us know so we can go ahead and activate that. I'll click on the link here for this pickup, and you can see the images can be zoomed in on for further review. After reviewing a stop, if you decide that it meets your qualifications and everything looks good, you can go ahead and select the Confirm Pickup button on the right-hand side. Confirm. And optionally, we can have your account prompt for an email to be sent, like it is shown here in my demo account. From this email dialog box, you can select an email template, select Generate Letter, if desired, you can add to or edit the email template and then select Send Email. To navigate back to the self scheduled pickup screen, again select Pickup Stop Scheduling and View Self Scheduled Stops. You'll notice that the stop is now shown in green instead of yellow. Upon reviewing a stop, you decide that you need to follow up with the donor to request additional item pictures or other information, you might flag that pickup, again with the right hand button, confirm, and now it's highlighted in red, for an easy visual reminder of which stops need further review. If you cancel a pickup, Thriftcart can again prompt for you to send an email and this time you might select a cancellation email template. You might consider adding a personalized reason for the cancellation and recommending a Christian ministry that might be interested in receiving the product as someone else to contact for donating to. If you select the Edit Pickup button on the right hand side of a pickup, you can change things such as the truck, day, time, items being picked up, removing items, and or adding items. Update the pickup duration time so that Thriftcart, when running a route optimization, may be able to more accurately calculate expected arrival times to the various donors' locations. You can also update the pickup size so that if you are picking up multiple items and you expect that this stop will fill more than one normal size section of your truck, you can mark off additional pickup slots in your schedule by indicating that this is a double, triple, or larger stop size. Be sure to select Save when complete. Please go through the process of both confirming and canceling at least one self-scheduled stop in your account and make sure that Thriftcart prompts you to send an email with both these action buttons. Please also 
test the reviewing of an attached picture to make sure that the photo link is working properly. Please reach out to your Thriftcart representative with any questions and feel free to proceed on to the next training video.